Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're joined by a very special guest. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, I'm sorry, but I've really got to get up now. <laughs> okay, please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. I'm going to try and slide. Don't hate me, don't hate me, don't hate me, don't hate me. I'll be back. The way she meows at the end as if to say, okay. <laughs> but anyway, trainers on. And away we go. And shock horror. We're here to get Katie. And as if it was magic, she arrives. And we're looking busy today. First up. Well, it'd be rude not to. Oh, damage will be spent today. <laughs> that is mad. Today's innocent challenge. All you gotta say, are you Adidas or Nike? Let me know. Operation Good Diet is a go. I hope you're proud, Sharpie. <laughs> That's not bad. Cool. And before we head back, we need a quick stop at this train station. But not to get on the train, that's next week, but I'm not going to tell you what for yet. Instead, we are here to pick up the parcel from the little drop-off things. Ah. And we have a parcel. So let us head off home. And we will be back here later tonight, so gassed. So I know what you're thinking, Josh, there's no big movies out this week. You've already seen Deadpool and Wolverine on opening night. I know, I'm so gassed with that. Um, so what are you going to go watch? I'll give you a hint. That's all you're getting. However, in a little bit more of a damper note, mind the pun. That storm that was promised last week, it might be on its way. This sky is not as blue and beautiful as it has been this week. The heat we've had this week, I'm not actually mad if it does start raining, but the problem is it is still quite warm. So it's going to feel all hop horrible, tropical and humid and Blech. But thankfully, we made it home. Get me in this ass. So, whilst we give Shardine a little bit of a treat, I can finally tell you what the title and the thumbnail is about in terms of Innocent Smoothies. So, if you guys, firstly, don't follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't have seen this, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, go and drop it a follow right now. But either way, what happened is, I posted this a picture of this Innocent Smoothie with a song in the background that I can't play due to copyright, however, it sounded a little bit like this. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, it's true. Obviously that was not James Blunt, that actually was me. I know we sound so similar, but it's fine. <laughs> but what happened was they replied to that story with this message right here. So I replied with this one. And then they replied with this. It might not have led to anything, but they know I'm alive. They know I'm real. They know I have a weird really weird obsession for their smoothies. So maybe one day we can make our own innocent flavour. That is my life goal. If I can get in my own innocent flavour, mate, I've won. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. <laughs> it looks like someone's coming for my job. We've got a new streamer in the house now. Jesus Christ. It is what it is. We got a brew. We're going to let her sleep on the chair. Also, before we get absolutely anything else done this afternoon, I remember I have still got to do the innocent challenge announcement winner for who won it this month. And I actually was speaking to Mr. Callum K himself yesterday and I told him it was going to be uploaded yesterday. It wasn't. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, I've not even done the draw yet. But that's a later on issue. We will get that done because it is time. We are very, very late on this week's one. Nearly a week ago. The new one is actually out tomorrow. But we are just about to watch it. My scariest encounter. And it's only Wyatt's face on the thumbnail. Interesting. Oh my God. Before we watch that, I've just remembered something. If you guys watched the vlog from the other day, you'll know I got a Katie a little surprise. Let's give it to her quick. For those of you who didn't see the vlog the other day, it is obviously these. So if I just open this quickly, keep those eyes closed. One. <laughs> and in here is number two. <laughs> They're brilliant. You better love them. <laughs> in three, in two, in one, you may look. <laughs> oh my god! That's so we got the little best friend things. Blaze has claimed this means I have friend zoned you. However, <laughs> they look cool. Oh, I love that. <laughs> they'd have to wear it or anything, but I, I think. Have a question: Did you put these in the vlog? 
Yeah. Knowing I don't watch the vlog. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> well, this is the thing. I know it's one I'd prefer, but I'm not going to say. Which one would you prefer? I'll take Wolverine. Okay. I have a feeling you'd prefer Deadpool because of your obsession with Ryan. That is a good shout. Katie believes I am the best. Meanwhile, she is my friend. <laughs> but yeah, success. We got these little things. Do you remember I said the other day, because they got those things you get in America, like the proper things. Yeah. So they're not the proper things, because we're not American. But we got like our version. Yeah, these are wicked. But yeah, result. And hopefully this is going to be a massive dub of a video. We'll have to find out and we'll see you guys in one hour and 23 minutes and 47 seconds. Thank you all so much and we will see you next week. Peace. Okay, that was crazy. And as they might be every single week, my new favourite episode they've ever done. Speaking of crazy, lads, we're having some lunch and... We're sticking with the healthy vibes today. I can't lie, I'm liking it. We've got crackers, we got salmon, we got mature cheddar, and believe it, baby. And as if by magic, we have now got some cheese and salmon crackers, mate. This is so much better than Mackey's and Pringles and all that stuff. However, the brew addiction is thriving, and I know it's an issue. Oh dear. There's been a time jump. It's 20 to four in the afternoon. And we are making a refill. It's all well and good eat, me eating all this healthy food and whatever, but the amount of teas I have in a day, that is a lot of sugar. It is a massive problem, but in one of these vlogs, we're going to try and go a whole day without brews. I don't reckon it's going to happen, but... It definitely won't happen. Okay, another time jump. And this time, it's dinner time for young Shadow. And by the way, Mum, your garden is looking beautiful. We've been training for this moment. I'm going to play this pass and you're going to run on to the end of it. Go! Wrong way! <laughs> I have got my own little dinner, some tomato and cheese pasta. Mmm! And after a quick little change of location, just realised we have got about an hour until we got to leave for the cinema. And if you guys still haven't guessed what we're going to go watch, I'm going to keep it a surprise. Whilst I devour the rest of this. Do you ever just get that feeling of somebody staring at you? You're making this very, very difficult, darling. <laughs> that was beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, that skyline. Mwah. And in case you guys can't tell, there's been a little bit of a time jump for about half an hour to an hour. We are off to the cinema. And ladies and gentlemen, finally revealing what are we watching? Bang! We are watching the OG Tobey Maguire, the original Spider-Man movie. What you're gonna say, you've, how have you not seen that before? We have obviously seen it, but this is the movie that got me into comic book movies, that turned me into the nerd I am. The fact I've, I would have been like a wee little baby when it first came out, so I have to be able to say I've seen it on the big screen. And to see it with you, makes it even better. I know me and my mate Tom Holland saw each other last week. Um, we did meet Tom Holland, that yes. happened. But um, I, I'm sorry, Tom. Toby is the goat. It's just, it's Toby bloody Maguire. Anyway, let us get to the movies. And we are actually the first ones here, so massive, massive dub. And without further ado, large Coke, chalky buttons over there. Spider-Man mania is here and we are kickstarting with only the best, Toby Maguire. We'll see you guys after the movie. Cannot wait to see Willem Dafoe in his prime as the Goblin. Let's have it. Here. We go. And just like that, we are out. And I tell you what, there are some parts of that movie where I'm like, right, that was made in 2002, so bear that in mind, it's a product of its time. But I tell you what, there is a reason why I'm a massive nerd, and it is because of that movie. Absolutely brilliant. The one thing I will say, Andrew and Tom are both fantastic actors, and they play the role to perfection. I've always said this, Andrew Garfield, although he's my probably least favourite out of the three is the best Spider-Man by far but Toby is the best Peter by a country mile and in terms of Tom I think he's just a perfect medium of them both he's not the best at either but he's the best average of the two of them if you get what I'm trying to say I will say Kirsten Dunst oh. She's obviously a brilliant actress. She is not the right MJ. That is the only no. downfall I'll say about the Toby movies. As amazing and as iconic as they are, like they're the reason I got into the whole this comic book movie genre in the first place. But Kirsten Dunst is the only letdown from this trilogy. And this trilogy had Venom, so that says a lot. It's not the Tom Hardy Venom you know and love today. It's the 
old school venom. Ugh. Anyway, we're gonna get home and we're gonna quiet down our voices because it's half ten and I believe we've got Chinese waiting at home for us. <laughs> hey! Okay, and just like that, we arrive home. A Chinese downstairs already and waiting for us, mate. I can't stress it enough. I bloody love those movies. And spoiler alert, it is of course. Wait, let me get the ticket. Let me get the ticket. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait for it. What does it say? Hang on. <clears throat> Spider Mania season. Come on. 100 years of Columbia Pictures or whatever the studio who made it is called. And yes, we are. Well, they are going to be showing all three Tobys, both of the Andrews, and all three Toms. Now, I have booked a couple showings of some of the movies that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna let you guys work out down below predictions of which ones you thought i bought i will say i haven't gone to all of the ones i would like to go and watch due to work or going away on trips and stuff like that however i believe we've got one more toby one of the andrews and a potentially a tom one but we'll get to that when we get there in terms of other dedications to doing other things let's say but um yeah overall what a movie what a night and i need a shower so oh my god listen this is a pg channel so get your mind out the gutter and you won't be seeing this in a bit just like that we are out and you know what that means they're getting a brew down us and while we're at it like i mentioned on the way home we got a Chinese. And um, lads, we've gone a bit crazy. Full duck chow mein, we got some chicken balls, and we got some chips. Now, I know we said about the healthy food, but here's my argument. Chicken is a meat. Protein, duck in the chow mein, is also a meat. Protein, chips are made from potatoes, so vegetables. So realistically, this is just meat and potatoes. Okay, really bad excuses aside. Got the Chinese, and we've got the brew, and now it's time to settle down for the evening. Now, the rest of the evening is gonna be a little bit interesting. The time is about 10 to 11. About an hour and a half's time is Manchester United versus Liverpool. Obviously, it's a late one because it is in America. God damn you lot. <laughs> Although it is just a pre-season game, it's Liverpool. Whether it means the world or whether it's nothing, you never want to lose to the Dirty Scousers. So that is why we got the Chinese and we got a brew ready to go. And not only that, but SummerSlam is also on. Now I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to get that watched tonight or I'm going to have to do a watch of it tomorrow um, on the WWE Network. That will only come down to time will tell. However, I'm saying all this down here now because upstairs Katie has got a really early shift tomorrow so she is sleeping. So I'm going to have to chuck some earphones in, eat this quietly and watch it upstairs on my phone. So whatever the next vlog clip will be, I guess time will tell. But either way, if I see you in the morning, up the lads massive massive win if i don't see you in the morning and i see you in a second i'm probably doing backflips in my room after we scored 17 past the scousers i guess only time will tell <laughs> let's get to the game well it's the next morning and ladies and gentlemen i can confirm there was no cartwheels done on the bed because they beat us <laughs> get me wrong we actually played really well and made a load of good chances if mctominay having a one-on-one -on -one. Killer her having to make a save or two. Rashford had a really good effort as well. But unfortunately, goals win you games and Liverpool are got free. But anyway, swiftly moving on as I get the tea made. I have got something to say because I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to message me and be like, Oh, what a surprise. Josh ignoring me again. Blah, blah, blah. He doesn't message us and all that. Today, on Sunday, the 4th of August, probably not be replying to anyone or going on any social media because, ladies and gentlemen, last night, not only did we get trapped 3-0 by the Dirty Scousers, but it was WWE's SummerSlam. Now, I've not seen it yet. I'm actually going to go take Katie to the bus station so she can get the bus to work. It's her shift today. God rest her soul. And then I'm going to get home and watch it. So, if you don't hear from me for the 90% of the day, I'm staying away from all the spoilers, all right? So, wind your neck in and... Ashanti. Anyway, a short little time jump into the future. We are heading out and you are heading to work. As we mentioned yesterday, this will be not be the last time you see Katie this week because we're jumping on a train later this week and they don't know, have any idea what for. I can't wait. And as the bus shoots past, 
we say goodbye to Katie and hello to Sunday. Anyways, we have made it home. And it is time to watch SummerSlam. So, so gassed. I'm hoping it's a dub. Will we see the return of Mr. Roman Reigns? Will we see a brand new WWE champion? Will we see new titles changing hands? I guess only time will tell. But without further ado, I'll see you guys after the biggest show of the summer. Let's have it. Holy shit. <laughs> Chills, literal chills. Sorry, Celine Dion, but you've been replaced by Ryan Reynolds with that song. And that SummerSlam was wild. Now, I can't shout and scream about what happened and all that because there's people watching it downstairs who didn't get to watch it earlier. So I'm not spoiling nothing. All I'm going to say is, wow, crazy limbs. <laughs> you're probably wondering, Josh, you're wearing a different top. Yes, I am. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a time jump. So obviously, WrestleMania was about four hours long. And then I had like a 10 minute sing song to Celine Dion. The point where the time is now pretty much 3 p.m. on the Sunday. And I have still not done the Innocent Challenge for this month. I went back to the start of July and there's a couple people on there that have a few. I'm talking Blazers on there, Honeygun, Creeper, Aiden, Jacko, of course, along with others. I'm just saying. But anyway, we are about to go and do the draw right here, right now. Or at least by the time you're actually watching this vlog, the short for the draw would have already been uploaded. But we're going to just show you guys that we do this completely legitimately and there's no cheating. Firstly, we've got to add Callum's name 12 times. And just like that, it is done. A lot of copy and pasting was done there. <laughs> Next up, we've got to add a Blaze's name in there. So there's six of Blaze's names in there too. And now we've got to add one in for Honeygun, Jacko, Aiden, and of course, the crazy Irish guy. So with all 23 entries into the wheel, we've got a massive mix of you absolute legends. However, you might notice this whole section here is all of Callum's entries. Pretty much half of the wheel is Mr. Callum. Then you've got Blaze and then a load of lads on the one entry. Now to make this fair, so it's not just a case of if it lands on this side of the wheel, Callum's won it. What we're going to do is go to shuffle right here and as you can see the names switch up locations so all the names are completely shuffled obviously Callum will still have the best chance of winning because he has got 12 of the 23 entries which is crazy from him by the way what an absolute go but without further ado we're going to keep shuffling keep spamming as I'm talking and I'm going to record the draw right now so if you didn't see the short video and you don't know who won you might be the winner so give it a check now okay Okay, the draw has been done. I'm uploading the short right now as we speak and oh boy. Jacko's only gone and done it. <laughs> One entry out of 23. Oh my god. Okay, massive time jump after that bombshell. We've got some dinner. Hunter's chicken coleslaw chips. Oh yes please. I'm gonna get this down me and I'll see you guys in a second. Oh boy, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Well, that was beautiful. And now we need something to wash it down. Ugh, beautiful. But anyway, with that down us, it is time to settle down for the evening. And ladies and gentlemen, it's a Sunday night. I've got a long 11 hour shift tomorrow. What is the best way to calm down? By reading some comics. And we're going to go with one that we got recently in London. Gambit. Because I'm going to be honest. I am in a bit of a Gambit craze at the moment. Like, I think he's at the moment my favourite comic book character like i don't know what it is i just love him so we're gonna give that a read and that's pretty much it for the rest of today so if you guys did enjoy go down below smash that like button also for those of you who get involved with the innocent challenge we're gonna try switch it up a little bit uh this month because it's too easy for people to just jump on skim through and timestamp we're gonna start asking questions about the video type of thing like today's one um that type of vibe so if you guys do enjoy go down below smash like subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.